now we will see the next problem already we had seen two problem based on this third series now third problem we will see so here the problem third a manufacturer is interested in starting a business with five different that models of tractor and it is ranging from 7.5 kilowatt to uh, 75 kilowatt capacity so the lower limit is 7.5 and the upper limit is 75 and specify the power capacities of the models there is an extension plan to further increase the number of model from 5 to 9 to fulfill to fulfill the requirement of farmers specify the power capacities of the additional model also means whatever the range they have given 7.5 to 75 this range we have to divide into five numbers five different series uh, models we have to define and again in the same range instead of five we have to convert to the nine models so this is the problem so this is the derived series because they have not given any series that is r5 r10 or r20 so here the ratio factor we have to find out that is the first thing now starting plan that means the five models and then the second plan for the nine models so the first plan that is for the five model that we will find out so the ratio factor we have to find out so we know that the ratio factor that we are denoting it by phi so phi is the ratio factor as already i said that it is the derived series and it is based on the geometric progression so we will see one by one now the power rating of the phi model will be as follows so the first 7.5 into phi raised to 0 now already we had seen that when we find out different model so the first model and if you multiply it with the factor series factor then you will get the second model and again if you multiply second model to the series factor then you will get the third model in this way we can find out the series now here the fire is to 0 it becomes 1 and as usual this 1.5 this is the first model and if you want to find out the second model what we will do the first into series factor or the ratio factor you can say here as this is the derived series so here we will take the ratio factor so the first model into the ratio factor you will get the second model then the second model into the ratio factor then you will get the third model in this way these are the five model so this is the first model second third fourth and the fifth so first model it should be equal to 7.5 and it will go on increasing up to the last model that is the fifth 7.5 5 raised to 4. So as they have given range 7.5 to 75 lower is the 7.5 and higher is the 75. So this highest model it should be equal to 75. So that will equate the maximum power rating is 75 therefore we can equate this this model is equal to 75 highest that right. So 7.5 5 raised to 4 equal to 75 if you rear in this 75 divided by 7.5 uh, raised to 1.4 then you will get the value of 5 and that is equal to what you will get the 5 that is the ratio factor here you will get it is 1.7783 so the first important step to find out the ratio factor and once you get the ratio factor you can find out the all different models so just now we calculated the ratio factor now we will calculate the different models the five models initial plan so step two that power rating of the model we will find out so the rating of the first model that initial value they have given 7.5 kilowatt as it is so this is the first model then for the second what we will do first model into the ratio factor so this is the first model 7.5 into ratio factor that is 1.7783 which we calculated and it becomes the 13.34 and if we equate that always we rounding up 
the value then we will get 13 kilowatt so this is the second model then we will find out the next third model what it is if you want to find out third model second model into the ratio factor second model this value 7.5 into this series factor 1.7 so it becomes the square then we will get the value 23.72 and again we are rounding up this value we will get 24 kilowatt and next model that is the fourth so again third model into the ratio factor this third as it is into 1.7 so it becomes cube uh, then the fourth model value will get 42.18 and that again we are rounding off then we will get the 42 kilowatt that is the fourth model and again we will go to the next fifth model that is the fourth model this value into the series factor then you will get 7.5 into 1.7783 raised to 4 right so therefore the last value will get the 75 so this is the 75 kilowatt that is the fifth model so in this way you will get the five different model the first is 7.5 second 13 kilowatt third that is the 24 kilowatt fourth 42 kilowatt and the last fifth that is the 75 kilowatt so this is the first step we found out that five different model from 7.5 kilowatt to the 75 kilowatt now we will see the next we have to divide this into the nine different models the range is range is same that is 7.5 kilowatt to the 75 and here again we have to find out the ratio factor in the similar way which we found out in case of the five different models so the first as it is 7.5 into ratio factor is to 0 means it becomes the 1 and 7.5 the second what it becomes first model into the ratio factor that is the second model for the third model second model into 5 so 5 into 5 it becomes square the third this is 4 5 6 7 8 and the 9 so these are the nine different models and the ninth is what 7.5 fire is to 8 so this is the ninth model and uh, initially is what 7.5 and the highest ninth model should be 75 so this value we should equate the highest value that is of 75 kilowatt so we will equate this 7.5 5 raised to 8 is equal to 75 then we will get the value 5 it is 1.3335 so this is the ratio factor for this because this we have derived into nine different values now once you calculate the ratio factor then it becomes very easy to find out the different models right so we will find out the all the models for the second expansion step first as usual that is the 75 kilowatt the first now for the second what we will do first model into the ratio factor the first model 7.5 and ratio factor we calculated 1.3335 then you will get the 10 and already did, uh, near about 10 so you will get the second model that is of the 10 kilowatt now the third model what it is the second model this value whatever it is into that ratio factor 1.3335 so it becomes square then we will get the value 13.34 we will round off this value then we will get the 13 kilowatt that is the third model similarly we can go for the fourth model that the third value into the ratio factor it was initially square multiplying the pressure factor it becomes the cube then you will get the 13.78 we round up this then we will get the 18 kilowatt fifth model fourth model into the ratio factor we will get 23.72 24 similarly for the sixth uh, you will get 31.62 that we are rounding up 32 for the seventh model again sixth model into ratio factor then you will get the 42.17 that we are rounding up 42 kilowatt then 8th model that 7th model into ratio factor then you will get the value 56.24 after rounding you will get the 56 and the last 9 the 8th model into the ratio factor then you will get 74.99 then we will round up and equate it to 
the 75 kilowatt so in this way we get the nine different models uh, starting with the first 7.5 second that is the 10 third 13 fourth it is 18 kilowatt fifth it is 24 kilowatt sixth 32 kilowatt seven 42 kilowatt eight 56 and the last nine that is 75 kilowatt so these are the nine different powers of the tractor that we have calculated okay thank you